Okay, in this video, we're going to do something a little different. Um, when you're sending out emails, maybe you want to keep it nice and simple, but maybe sometimes you want to keep a little branding. Maybe adding your logo, some other uh, elements that are matching with your site, for example, color matching and everything else. And maybe just want to add a little flair to everything you do. Well, we support many different types of themes to help you brand um, your uh, emails, your newsletters, your autoresponder mails. It's entirely up to you. And you can play around with conversions uh, in regards to this. But we like to send out a lot of branded stuff, stuff with our logos, uh, stuff with uh, social media elements because we have social media embedding and one of the uh, things we do is actually below this video you will see a special themes zip which is a, a collection of themes that enhance the ones that we already have so under if I go to the right link here themes you will see the three that we have in here and again we've mentioned this briefly in another video but you can preview each and every one. For example, this is the most basic one. And again, that's the subject and the email. This one actually converts very well. It's plain and it's great for just general stuff, but you can easily insert uh, images and things like that. We have the mailer, which again is kind of just kind of attention or grab attention and everything else. And we have another one which is uh, we made default, which is the uh, kind of branded one here. But you can see there's lots of little short codes in here and everything else. Now let's actually install the themes. So I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. And you'll see on my desktop here, we have the themes pack. And I'm just going to unzip that. I'm on the Mac, but you know, obviously you can use WinZip or any other program. And in here you will find several different uh, files already set up. And we will be releasing more of these as well. But this is a group of uh, them already. And what we're going to do is each one of these is a little zip file. And all you do is go to add new. And then under this section here, upload a zip package, choose file, and then come to your theme folder where it is. And let's install, for example, the corporate one. And the other thing we need to do is give it a name. So we'll call it corporate. But before we do, I want to mention something about these themes. Although each one of these is a zip, there's nothing really complicated in here. And they're easily customizable. If you have someone who can um, tweak things for you, if I unarchive one of these or unzip, and you'll see it's basically just an index file with the images that are attached. So if I open this up, you'll see this is uh, the item. This is the actual full thing in here and you can edit this you can see this the news track that's the single pixel for pulling in and tracking and then you can see all these other items as well but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually upload this so I'm going to save theme and we are ready to go so you can now preview this you can see it in place and here you can see it's actually linked with all the images it's still got the news track up there you can see the background and everything else and this is a very um, businessy kind of corporate style one. You can see we've got the social media in here. Um, the we've got the obligatory and I can spam prevention. There's the actual name and everything else from the corporate end. The uh, having problems, watch the news. You know, re watch it online. And then there's the unsubscribe again. This is keeping you spam compliant. And boom, this is a complete corporate one. Let's add a couple of others just for. Um, the presentation here again well let's uh, let's pull the radar one and we'll just grab that and we'll call it radar now again you can actually duplicate any of these and then upload them give them your own name you know whatever you want to do but let's just grab that real quick and just making sure I got the right one because I wanted to make sure okay and that's saved, so let's have a look at, again, another uh, kind of corporate style one. You can see Raider, is slogan here, uh, ad contact us. Great for businesses, local businesses, small businesses, and anything else that wants a little bit of branding where you can, again, drive them to your homepage, services about us. It's kind of like a miniature little web page. Let's add one more. And uh, again, you can actually look inside and test any one of these. In fact, just to show you real quick, 
let's go back up here. You can do exactly what we did here, unzip them. And I'm just going to do that to all of them. And again, the, all of the images load because they're, you know, um, relative to, whoops, I actually opened that one twice, but you can get a kind of quick preview. Let's take the leafy green one. Again, obviously that one's not quite, you can't see the images and everything else there, but you can at least get an idea digging into the HTML and everything else. You might need a, you know, a coder or someone you could do if you want to make a uh, large call this one leaf green, you know, large changes and everything else. But it's entirely up to you how you want to approach it. But we do give you that kind of custom design flexibility that a lot of places just don't give you. So again, we'll preview that one. And there's the leafs and all the graphics and everything else in this. So again, everything is possible to change. And I'm going to add one more real quick. Now, um, when you're editing these, um, let me see which one we're actually going to add for this last demo. Um, let's do a special offer one. So open that, and we'll call it special offer, and save that. And there we go. There's a special strawberry offer. So you get the idea. It's actually very, very easy to uh, tweak and change these. And the cool thing is you can actually tweak a lot of these right in this system. Just click as, if you want to set one as default, first of all, you can click set as default. That now becomes your main one. So for example, corporate, I could set that now as my, you know, my default one, but probably one to edit it first. And the cool thing is you can come in here and again, you can paste in your HTML, you can adjust things as you see fit and uh, off you go. But when we're editing these, we actually pull them up usually in an HTML editor like uh, Dreamweaver or Composer. Uh, Composer is a free tool. And uh, you can actually download that for free from Composer.net. Uh, there's all sorts of other options as well. But that works out really well. It, it makes it flexible and easy for editing. We might even add in the future an editor to the theme section so you can do it right inside WordPress as well. But we tend to work because of the short codes, because of some of the content and the elements here. We actually tend to customize these outside of uh, WordPress and then we can you know, include all of our short codes and things like that. And in the user guide that comes with IMSC Rapid Mailer, we actually have a large list of the short code you can use, or you can just pull apart one of these. Um, as we showed, you can pull it into uh, uh, Firefox or Chrome or any browser to actually look at what's in there and then use them as a basis to create your own custom ones as well. It's a very, very powerful little theming system. And uh, all you need to do is literally go in there, rock it up, and upload your custom version, create your own branded theme. So that's branding 101 with uh, IMSC Rapid Mailer. Hope that makes uh, your life a little easier. We got lots and lots of different styles and designs that you can adapt to suit your own needs or ones that you just basically change a little bit and, and start rocking and rolling. It's entirely up to you, but power is yours. All you've got to do is go out there and seize it. See you in the next video in a few minutes.